it's me. Um, okay. How did it... How did it go? true. She could sign a release there. They are. <laughs> well, how come Mary before told, gave me the bullshit and I call and could and still couldn't find out, talk, couldn't call and, and see if my mom wanted to talk to me? Well, I do know why. <laughs> I already, I mean, I already, I, but I already talked to my mom anyway, and I got upset with her. I pulled him, and I didn't get upset with her. I got upset. I, I, and then I hated myself afterwards, just as we've t discussed in the past, because she gave her, she, that, that's not true. <laughs> Well, she, you know, Mary won't do this tiny thing for me, Cheryl. She, you had already, asked, she's given bullshit about, you know, that. And then when she, last time, where was she? In a different hospital, and then she disappeared, and the only reason I didn't. Then why did she let it happen before? Do you, you know, I know, but do you realize that if, if were it not for you, all these months, I, I wouldn't know where my mother was? I know, but do you realize that? Well, that's why it hit, that's what happened. I, it hit home that, you know, it's like, it, without you, I'd have nothing. So when I found out that, I mean, I know that you kept your word and you, 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 and, and she didn't do it. And then she gives my mom, then she, she gives my she's telling, and then I, I actually told my mom, because I had talked to my, my mom, I figured if my mom actually asked her to bring it, but, but that's not, that's bullshit. She says she, she had ample time. She didn't do it the first time, and then when she didn't do it again, yeah, I got upset, because it hit home. Without you, I would have nothing, but she doesn't give a shit. I'm well aware of that. Why do you think afterwards I was filled with self-hatred and plan on getting drunk, actually? I know, and I, it's involuntary. Because I just, you know, she didn't do it last time. She had ample, and then she just, she doesn't care. And the fact, it, Why in God's name when, when you, I thought she was so nice that she called up that hospital when I remember I didn't know where my mom was all, all for, it, it had been a long time again between being in the medical hospital and then I didn't know and then you finally got her to call the hospital and she doesn't, there's n she doesn't find out ex the unit number or either knows and doesn't tell you and then gives some bullshit where I call up and I'm like, oh my God, that, that doesn't exist, you know? That just hit home. With, no, but the bottom line is, Mary does not care, and without you, I would have nothing. Why are you withholding comment? It's not a. Pr
inappropriate? This is you and me. <laughs> we're, we're friends. But nobody's listening. I can't ask you what you thought of her. You won't tell me? I thought you would tell me what you thought of her. That's what Mary, but Mary was giving you the runaround before, and that's why I wasn't. Oh, no, that's, if you were not in the picture, I already told you, her regular doctor blew me off, Mary blew me off, and of course her psych, psych you know, I, if you were not in the picture, I would not, at this moment, right now, know where my mother was or anything. I wouldn't know what was going on with her. I may have known at the very, very beginning, simply because I found out from that friend, and that could have happened without me ever being, knowing you. But other than that, all these months, I wouldn't know, and I still wouldn't know, and she'd be going into the respite, and I still wouldn't know, and I'd be going out of my fucking mind. I know, but I, sh I, sh I shouldn't have got upset. I, I, it's not me getting upset with my mother. It's me pulling a Marion where Marion, you know, I'm upset with Mary and, and I can't do anything, you know. I, I flipped out. I'm like, I'm like, what? There were no triggers. What triggers were there? Oh, you mean when Marion was brought up? Oh, yeah, yeah. It was involuntary. I couldn't believe it. I thought for sure this time I knew you would keep your word and, and ask her in this. And it's just a piece of paper. You know, just let me, you know, I wanted it signed, and there's no reason why it couldn't be. But, but, but then again, in front of Marion, that maybe that wouldn't be a good idea, but you know what? It, I did. But you understand that last time when my mom left that hospital, she goes home with Marion and disappears. And I don't know where she is for like two weeks or more. And neither do you. And you're asking... And, and last time Mary could have found that out too, but you weren't even reaching her. She wasn't even contacting you, remember? And I was going nuts. But did my mom go at the meeting go up to Mary with in front of Marion and say that? Oh, yeah. So she knew enough to be secret and then I I yeah, I got upset. But do you know where she's going?
Mm -hmm. Oh, okay. Uh huh. Uh, okay. But you can't make it happen. Yeah. Yep. Is she definitely leaving this week, though? I shouldn't have got upset with my mom. Well, I didn't get upset. It's not me getting upset with her. She knows I'm not mad at her. It's not her fault at all, you know. It's basically, I pulled, I, 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 and then I cried and I hated myself afterwards, you know, typical. I can't, it's involuntary, you have to understand. I told myself ahead of time, no matter what, even if no release was signed, I wouldn't get upset with my mom, and I did anyway. I mean, I did, I mean, I wouldn't let it, I wouldn't, it's not me getting upset with my mom. I mean, she knows I'm not upset with her. It's that I shouldn't, it was involuntary. That is why I, bec But I was scared, I know, and I, 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 basically, if I would have reacted that, when, and you have been so good to me, you know what I mean? I figured my mom's giddy about getting out, and, and I just... Well, obviously, I know that it's wrong, or I wouldn't be all upset, self, you know, beating myself up, you know. Because I just didn't understand. Because it's just a piece of paper, and my mom wants it. If my mom's in a right frame of mind, otherwise, she wouldn't be being released. So, why can't they? I know, but and I'm, you understand that when I hear that, and then I hear my mom giving me, like, like Mary saying, oh, she's going to give the release to, to Cheryl. That doesn't make sense. She's going to give it to Cheryl. It needs to be signed in front of Mary, and, and then, you know what I mean? And Mary holds on to it. Giving it to you doesn't do anything. And that's what my mom was saying, and I was like, what the hell? You know, what? I just thought now she's getting out. She didn't bring it the first meeting. She has ample time. Why didn't she just bring it, you know? And basically all this stuff I'm saying to you is exactly how I was reacting with my mom, but I, I, I shouldn't have done that.
No, I don't. If what I'm doing is wrong, I don't need to stop beating myself up. I just couldn't fight. I couldn't believe it. You know, it, it hit home. Like, like, you know, if Mary wouldn't bring this through, that she already had ample time. You know, it's just a piece of paper, and she won't do it. She won't do this. It was one thing that's so, so, so important to me. Even when my mom wants her to, you know, I, and I know my mom wants her to, and it just, it hit home. Like, oh my God, if I didn't have Cheryl, I, I wouldn't know right now where my mother was, and I just. All that came forward, and, and my mom was on the opposite end of it, you know? No, but even while you've known it, Mary's, Mary's given you the runaround, and... It's... Hello? What happened? Hello? What happened? is the one who's going to pick my mother up. So, of course, I'm going to get terrified because last time she was going to pick my mother up, my mother winds up somewhere and I don't get to know for weeks. Mary is picking her up again. It's like deja vu. I know, that, that I did realize that. Because she didn't bring it now, and maybe when my mom's asking her to. But but pretty soon she's not going to be there, and then I'm in the same situation. No, even if she got sick. But Mary put stuff off, though. That's why I wanted it done ahead of time. No, once I, she gets out, I understand she would, but she, she, I don't believe once my mom's out of the hospital, she, she would tell me. But Mary never would tell me anything. That's why I want to release with Mary, because I think of all possibilities, even, we're not even talking about mental, I mean, something, even, she could get hurt or something, you know what I mean? And, and I don't, and, I know, and there's going to be how many hours, well, she, well, Marion, just like before, is she's in the car with Marion, and last time, you know, she disappeared. Mm-hmm. 
Well, that's why I asked my mom, do you know where you're going so I could have that address? And she didn't even know that. And you don't know that. But I didn't know. Before it was only one you were talking about. Now you're talking about more than one. See, that's something new that I'm finding out right now. No, no, you guys were only tell. I do. You guys were telling me it was just one choice of respite. And now there's more than one. See, before, remember, we were just talking about one? So then one, I could Google the address. You know what I mean? <laughs> because it tells me where she's going. And I also needed to know where to send the card. So I've just, they, she promised me too she, that, I, that the card will be forwarded. They'll definitely forward or mail, right? Because I didn't, I got, I haven't, I, I had, I didn't get to where I don't mail anything from my own city and I didn't get there in time taking trains and buses and whatnot yesterday, but I got everything together. I, it took me time here because she wants song lyrics and I print it and she needs them big because she can't read them. So every song is four pages instead of one, you know what I mean? I mean, I'm real big, 16. I put it on 16 on WordPad. Oh, I'm sending everything to the hospital. It's going to be a package, a, care, a, a package of song lyrics, pictures, and the thing. But I want to make the hospital will definitely forward her mail, right? Okay. She thinks she's getting out this week. Okay. I, got, I was so mad, I got upset with, with on the phone, and I apologize, but you know, people, they're, they're, oh, fuck. Oh, no, I wasn't mad at her at all. I was mad, in, I was mad at Mary, but I can't go off of Mary, you know what I mean? <laughs> so... <laughs> Basically, I didn't want to go off on you because you're not, you know, I, my mom loves me no matter what, you know. I don't want you to turn against me. But see, you gave me more information too. See, talking to my mom, I, this is what my, my mom said, well, well, she didn't bring, oh, and I'm like, oh, God, Mom, why, and then, and then, and then she's like, she said she's going to give it to Cheryl, that makes no sense, she needs to have it with her in her company, and then she says, she has to ask her, she did not get it from her, her supervisor, I'm like, that's bullshit, that, that, she's had ample time, you know, she's just run. she's just giving, this was what I did, I'm like, she's just giving me the runaround, Mom, all I wanted was that relief, and, you know, I didn't know like, where you were all this time, was Marion picked you up that last time, and then you just disappeared, and, you know, you were supposed to get out, and you were so sounding fine, you know, I'm just giving you an example of exactly what happened two nights ago. And then, of course, afterwards, I'm filled with absolute, you know, self-loathing as usual. But I told you that when I first met you, that I, you know, because getting up, when I would yell at my mom, it, to me it's like, like kicking a puppy, you know? So then I'm going to hate myself for it, even though she, she, when I was living with her, you know, even though she provoked me, it doesn't matter because she's, it's, to me, it's just like kicking a puppy. And one time she was on the couch and she's like, and she's crying and she's, she's, and I don't even remember the, the connotations involved, but she's like, and she's like, I'm sorry, I'm such a disappointment to you. And I'm like, wanted to fucking shoot myself, you know? No, I'm not gonna. I'm just saying that you understood that when you didn't even know me. When I'm sitting there in your office talking to you for two fucking hours, crying with Omar in my lap, and you were willing to listen, and you you didn't like when I told you that that I that. But it's the truth. I only tell the truth, you know. But I disagree. 
But I'm going to, I'm going to try to look into going to where I was going before. I was also telling my mom, you know, because this is the truth, because every time she's moved somewhere else, I get scared. I'm not going to know which, I'm like, and I told her, I'm like, mom, you know, you, you have, you, she, my mother also has to tell people, like her friends who think I'm a, the truth. I know, I used to, whenever I was eavesdropping on her, there were friends she was talking to when she was sick during those, those eight days of hell that did, they think I'm a monster. I could hear the opposite end. No, she's still here. Oh, I'd be fine if she was gone. You know what I mean? And I'm saying all this stuff to her now because, like I said, every time she, I feel like anything can happen and I will again not know where she is and I'm stressing to her, like, Mom, you've got to tell your friends the truth when you're out, too. You know, I have to think, I'm trying to, on the one hand, I, I, I don't want to upset my mother, but on the other hand, I need these, I need that release sign so I can never be shut out, of, so Mary can't pull her shit ever, and I need her, my mom to tell the fr her friends the truth, and I need her to also tell people the truth that I didn't steal that $1,700, that it didn't come, even come from her account, all it was was money I'd given her and the equivalent of rent, she'd saved her that money under her mattress, you remember that, right? Because it, I didn't know if you would get to, I knew Miriam was, I, I tried to reach you and wasn't able to, because I was going to tell, I was going to just remind you, just because I've told you so much, just that, that's a major thing. Miriam, that's a major accusation, that I did not steal $700. My mother is close to 60. Miriam put $53,000 into her own pocket, only because she periodically helped my mom. Yeah, she's, it wasn't, didn't take up her life, and she got $53,000, but that's not enough. You know, my mom's not allowed to do anything for me, even though she has, like close to 60, and you saw, you witnessed it, how she was talking about doing stuff she wanted to do, and I, you heard me say, in that hospital, Miriam won't let you, right? Do you remember? Her, what she was saying, well, it's my money, is what she's saying, no, actually, it's not, Mom. You're controlled completely by Marion. You know, it's pretty much Marion's money that she can dole out to you. And if she doesn't like your daughter, then you are not allowed, even if you have $60,000 close to it to your name, plus in a couple of so years you get another 401k worth over 50 and you can't do a goddamn thing for your own daughter. And you saw that that, that produces conflict in her. But what I did, I did tell her, like I said, I, when she said she's getting out this, I, you understand that experience has shown me to be scared. Whenever she's moved some, even when she went into that medical hospital, I've been sitting there talking to her, I'm fine. Suddenly, I don't know if she's alive or dead. I feel like that could happen again, especially with you. See, you get it. You get why I went off on my mother. Like, I just wanted the release sign, and then, because Mary has, has in the past blown you off, so I'm like, I want the release sign, and then nobody can blow me off again as long as I have a release with that, you know? and then it didn't happen. Oh, I know you understand, but I should not have upset, I, I upset my mother and there were witnesses. But Marion, I did a pull to Marion. Marion used to do that. Like she said, she, my mom, she would agitate my mom. She would call up and, and bad and badmouth me and there were witnesses then too when she was in the other unit, you know? Um, but apparently Marion's been very nice. She brought her a Sunday, I guess, again. She said she did. You were there. Did Marion get there ahead of you? My mom, she said she actually brought it, like brought it without going to get... Oh, okay. She she said she brought. I didn't know maybe Marion stayed longer. My mom did say that you didn't. You and Marion didn't even talk at all. I said, well, did they introduce? Get introduced to each other? She's like, yeah. But I know you witnessed whatever she was saying. You know. But I wasn't brought up at all. I can ask that, right? Okay. So it's pretty much like I don't exist.
Oh, I know not with my mom, of course. I'm just saying, according to my mom, but I'm getting it from you. You did, you and Marion didn't talk at all. <laughs> and was my mom there the whole time? Because last time she left three times, and then we talked. You and I. Okay. Oh yeah, even when I talked to her on the phone the other night, because I, like I said, I involuntarily was as upset, and I also, I mean, I had to stress to her just in case something, you know, if she disappears again, because I have no, no confidence in anything at this point, you know, when I've seen what's, what's happening, even when she went to that medical hospital, and then I don't know where she is again, you know, um, she, but she has to show, she, she, she has to, See, I'm in a precarious situation. On the one hand, I mean, I wouldn't do this before, but now my mom's feeling a lot better, but she's still in there. But she has to tell people, she has to tell everybody, her doctors, everything that I didn't, that, you know, and, and especially all her friends that Marion has told the opposite, you know. And I know that she has, because I even called one of the friends who, who hung up on me. I said, why? Because she's the one who gave Marion that letter. That was, she, it was, that was a letter I had given her in confidence. My mom only told this one person about that it was 50000 She shouldn't really tell anybody because in the, it's just, that, that friend who I thought was a friend who was, was, betrayed me, you know, but when I tried to reach her and I'm like, why did you give Marion that letter I gave to you in confidence where I told you about that $1,700 that wasn't money, my, it's not like my mom went to a bank account and took out $1,700 and handed it to me, Cheryl. It was money that I had basically given to her because she gets her 125 a week. She didn't have to spend it because I was buying everything. Because even when she'd offered us pay, oh no, mom, I because I she knew she had 50, but I thought she only had the 10 and she needed it for her teeth and whatnot, right? So basically, that's the only reason, and it wasn't even all the money for those 10 months I stayed with her. I must have given her at least the, at least. No, there's no way I gave her less than 400 a month, so that would have been 4,000. So I got back 1,700 from 4,000 from my mother. My mother doesn't have to make money off of me. You understand? As long as it'll cost her a penny. But in Marion, I know. No, I'm saying, but my mom needs to understand that she has to tell people the truth. Oh, no, I know. But I'm trying to under get you to understand that why I was agitated with my mom. And I do hate myself for it because I agitated her. And, I mean, I smoothed things over. And I we talked about the song lyrics. And she's all excited. I'm sending her the song lyrics and whatnot and, and the card. And, you know, and, um, and I got her a beautiful card. It's, I'm going to send out everything today. Um, um, okay. Again, thanks for everything. Like I said, without you, I'd have nothing. I would have never known where my mom was. And I, I'm sorry that I got upset with my mom. Or upset. Not She knows I'm not upset with... I got, but it doesn't matter. I got upset, period. And, you know... All right. I'll, um... So right now, we, we basically, as it stands, because she, I, I'm glad I got to talk to you, she thinks she's getting out this week, but you're saying it, that that likely won't happen? What? Okay, just real quick, she actually said to me, they're coming Friday, so that's why I'm, I'm asking you. Okay. Maybe it's just wishful thinking. Again, thank you so, so much. Okay? Bye-bye.
have so much empathy for others, and I, but I don't grant myself that same empathy. Yep, you're right. You're right. me for these couple of years and they're 12 and they fit me loose so it just goes to show you they're just made differently that's all you know they're made in China and they're all made differently just because it says 14 on the label so what so what I'm still the same weight so I'm still the same weight and I couldn't fit into the 12 of the same brand that I was in the same that brand of shorts a couple of years ago oh well for 13 bucks I'll buy a 14 <laughs> you know they're a size 14 Yeah, I know. She'd only just, Charles only just met me. She's the other time. She's, when I told her that I yell at my mom and then hate myself, she's like, you, you, should, you can't hate yourself. Yeah, I can. Mm -hmm. Yes, I can. It doesn't serve any purpose, but. I am going to get drunk. I just didn't go tipsy, but I didn't, I just didn't do it yesterday because I didn't get to mail out the thing and I knew I have to do it first thing today. I need to send Cheryl a nice I got my mom a beautiful card, and I only paid a dollar for it. I got it at a dollar store, and only paid a buck for it. It's a really beautiful card. I know we have to go out. Mama's gonna get dressed. can't handle it, but I know my mother will always love me, whereas, you know, I go off and Cheryl and she might just not like me anymore. I guess that's what I'm thinking. I started that one fucking 
they don't want it to release time because I'm scared. She gets it. She gets it. Mary is the one coming to pick my mother up again. Last time that happened, my mom disappeared. I didn't know where she was for weeks. You know? Purchase a certain amount. One place wanted you to um, pay seven dollars for credit, and I'm like, this one was five. I bought one of the Blue Passion Four Locos, and then I went to Walmart. I was going to drink the Four Loco, but I didn't. And then, because I don't want just one, and I can't get them around here, I bought two more. So basically, not that I would ever drink them all, but I have three, four locos, um, in my bag over there, that I'm gonna put. and I'm definitely going to drink one today, and he does not seem as healthy as he used to seem in the past, and I seriously wonder if it's because he shares water with that dog who eats the kibbles and bits, and then the, that, that small amount of kibble and bits gets in the water. I don't know, his eyes are like more clear. Like more muc I've, I notice these things compared to when we his eyes are more mucusy. I don't know. I, I, I'm doing the best I can. What am I supposed to do? You know. I really should put in for um for section eight because it you know it takes years to get section eight a lot of times or sometimes it can happen fast. But it doesn't happen fast if you don't want to live if you want to live in a bad section of a town then it can happen fast. But. I should put in for section eight, if for no, even if for no other reason. But I, you know, I don't. And part of me likes not living alone, you know. But I pay a lot less with section eight. They only take a third of your income, so instead of paying six hundred a month, I would only pay three thirty-three. I mean, that's almost half. I bought, um, but I didn't have my glasses with me, and I couldn't even, you can't, I wouldn't be able to tell because if I'm wearing contacts, of course, when I go out in the world, I would wear contacts because I want to, you know, I like to not wear glasses when I'm out in the world. I like to look better, you know. Um, so I bought solar shield things that go over your glasses. They're called fit overs. I paid 19 for them at Walmart. That's really only a little bit cheaper than at CVS. They had Foster Grant ones, I think, for some kind. Maybe they were solar shit, but whatever they were, they were $22. So I paid a tiny bit less, but not much less. But um, I know. We're going to go. We're going to go. I know you have to go to the bathroom. I don't even I think you really want to see me. I know. I'm going to Oh. Oh, 
I don't want you to know ahead of time, but I'm going um, back to where I was. I have to say, I hope my mom's guard. My feet stay warm. I mean, they, they smelled horrible when I took my socks off last night. I could do something about that. I have got to do. I'm sorry, honey. I must. If you want to be really honest, you know, just like I didn't trust that my shelter didn't really care about me. And I, get, I, get, I know my mom won't stop loving me. I get, I get scared that, that, that Cheryl will just suddenly, I mean, that's... That's a horrible way to live. Yes, it is. But horrible or not, it is reality for me. How I feel. Remember in high school, this girl I really liked when I moved to party. Remember, I had friends at school. I just had outside friends because I didn't believe people would really want to be my friend outside school. And then I actually dared to ask one of my friends, and then she she didn't we didn't wind up being outside friends. So I it was what I feared happened did happen. I mean we remained school friends, and she was still nice to me and whatnot. But I finally had the courage to you know you know we should do something outside of school sometimes, and we never wound up doing anything. So that's just gonna reinforce your idea that you're not lovable or likable or whatnot. Every fucking ounce of courage I had. Remember, this was the Florida years when I went to move. I couldn't deal with my father treating me home with love, love for me. A little mentor. And, uh. It all, so it's really not easy for someone like me when you internalize everything to make friends. And I, but I was nice to when I talked to people at school. It just it never you know, graduated to be an outside friend. Asking why, the only reasons why. But it certainly wasn't I was a snob who didn't like people. The truth. I was, I was just didn't belong. And, and, um, and you don't have any friends, then nobody's really going to know. But if you're a kid and you're living at home, then your parents are going to know. Just like that movie recently saw, and he fucking, you know, that awesome movie Disconnect. He didn't have any friends, but he had his parents knowing, but they were nice about it. They, they didn't ridicule him, but you know. And in the end, very, very, something very, very bad happened to him. But me, no. I went into fantasy land and I never really got out of fantasy land, but sometimes fantasy land is good because it makes you be the ant, you know? The rubber tree plant. Rubber tree plant, mama. The ant, the rubber tree plant. Only because fantasy land where she wouldn't let, you know? Because if I had just really listened to everyone tell me I was worthless or nothing or whatever, I mean, I either wouldn't be here or I would just be whatever. Oh, uh -huh. 
Thank you. I know. I know, honey. I know. Mama's getting dressed. Mama's, Mama's uh... not fit in, not belonged. And in high school in, in Florida, what they took for snobbery was absolute debilitating shyness and, and everything else. And my father was making me feel like shit at home, so why was I going to think that kids were going to like me when my dad didn't like me, you know? If we could just... We could just... If you will, um, sit, what's the word? One thing leads to another, leads to another. A to B to C to D to... Uh, and now, just like Eric said, you could have, a, you could be incredible, or you could have a body that men look at when you walk down the street. Got out of college, and that's what I did for the hell of it. Eric was the Amer African American guy who worked with me at Rap, who I used to have lots of fun with when I was drunk, um, and still a virgin. So we used to have, you know, fun with it. wasn't, uh, it was just making out or whatever. And he liked it, I guess, because he was African American and I was, even though I was heavier, they are, a lot of times, uh, that, that, those men are a little more forgiving of curves. They like the curves more, and um, he uh, he was sexually active. He had, you know, so yet he would make out with me just innocently. It's kind of cute looking back on it, but it's kind of funny. Um, and yeah, he knew I was a virgin too, so I'm sure that turned him on. But in the end, he wasn't really a friend, and he wanted to rape me. He was drunk, and he, he didn't do it, but, you know, he, he, he betrayed our friendship. So that was the end of that. That was the end of that. Um, and Laura's heart breaks a little bit more once again, but that's part of the course in this existence for her. Um... Okay, what did Mama do with those sunglasses, Omar? I'm sorry. You know, but this, I had to talk to Cheryl, and I didn't get to talk to her yesterday. It was very important Mama talked to Cheryl. You know? Not that Mama talking to Cheryl is going to stop Mama from getting drunk, but it will at least, at least she got to know. What the fuck? I just had them in my hands. Did I put that in the purse? Yep, I did. Okay. Of course, we have no scissors, but I have learned he doesn't have scissors either. I need to buy scissors. That's what I need to buy. That's what I forgot to buy yesterday. I knew I was forgetting something. I just couldn't remember what. Alrighty. Now. I'm going to clip this off and put it right here because these might not fit over my glasses. They might fit too tight or they might... Uh. What do you think? Do you see these, these go over the glasses? Because remember, when I get up to take him out in the morning for the first AM poo poo walk, we're, we're not going to... I'm not putting my contacts in first thing. First thing. You know, when I'm not going any, anywhere or whatnot, I like wearing my glasses. I just don't like wearing them out in the world because I, you know, it's like anybody who doesn't have to wear glasses. People wear contacts to look better, too, you know, but see? What do you think? All right, you got to go to be continued. Uh, you guys won't be getting this again until tomorrow because I don't want you to know what I'm up to or whatnot until after the fact.